This is that follow-up video where you find out how I repaired my air locker using questionable methods. Previously, on extreme enthusiasm, charismatic four-wheel drive repair videos. And then we can let the car play you the song of its people. If you just loosen that bleed screw. Shakira, Shakira. But what I discovered when I opened this was this copper line here, which holds the air, was rubbing on this gear wheel. So obviously as this is spinning, this is gradually wearing the hole. And it made a little pinhole in there. Here, in its blurry goodness. It... So you're gonna have to subscribe to find out what happens in the end. Thrilling. Now this is obviously gonna be a very short video. So if you wanna watch me put everything back together, Watch the last video in reverse. Now the problem I have is that I'm very impatient and waiting for parts is not my strong point. So rather than wait for a union fitting to go here, I've decided to drill a hole through the middle of an M6 bolt and braze it in place. And before you keyboard warrior, no, it doesn't leak, and yes, it's perfectly fine. Although it's not the most cosmetic thing in the world. And the other thing I'm impatient about is the gasket that connects the differential to the housing. And here's the point where you learn a marvellous top tip. There is, in fact, something you buy on a very regular basis that's made entirely of gasket paper. I'm sure there'll be many of you that complain in the comments below, but this is almost the exact same thing, and it works just fine. And it works just right. Anyway, let's get on with it.
So this is the moment of truth. If I turn this wheel with the diff unlocked, the other side should turn in the opposite direction because that's the path of least resistance. And you can see that's happening. Now if I chuck the locker on, now they both turn in the same direction. So I think we can call that successful. And that's where the tank's at full pressure. There's nothing coming out the breather. So I think we're all good. So what I've got to do now is wait for 24 hours for all that horrible goop in there to cure. In there. That's all, bye.